You ready? Good. Um, first of all, it's nice to actually play a day game. It's 9 o'clock right now, so it's just a little bit different. Um, really, number one, uh, excited about just our stadium, Albertson Stadium, the orange, the fans. Um, that was a difference tonight. You could tell it was loud, <clears throat> and we had a lot of people in the seats through a tight game, and, and they sustained the energy. I know it helped our players. Uh, and that's that's the fun part about playing and, and being a Bronco is playing on Friday nights. Everybody's watching against uh, a quality opponent. That's the champions from last year uh, in our stadium with the type of fans that we have. So uh, that was a whole lot of fun, to be honest with you. Um, would always like it to not be as tight. You know, we'd love to pull away and, and uh, win a game by 50. I think we always want that. But we talked about it real simple on on uh, Thursday night, which is our Friday night. We talked about this game's not going to be perfect. And we're going to have to be poised because we knew the mentality that Fresno would have coming off the loss to UNLV. They were going to emphasize certain things. They were going to be <clears throat> um, a lot more upset about how they played, and they wanted to come into Bronco Stadium, and they wanted to knock off the Broncos. And I think we were equally as upset that we wanted to go back there and, and play against the champions, get the milk can back, and, uh, and prove something that we can do those things. So uh, both sides, and I would say the players on both teams, I know were really excited for this game, and it showed uh, the way they played. So uh, really <clears throat> you know, proud of the, you know, the offense there uh, in the – I don't know what drive it was in the third quarter. Maybe we had a couple fourth down conversions, um, and you know that's that's a situation where you know we're trying to win the game. We went out to win the game. We we decided you know when we stepped out in the field we want to win this game, and if it's going to take fourth down conversions to do it, so be it. Uh, and we needed that to happen, and we made two of them. And I think we ended the drive with with Grant's catch on that one, uh, I believe. So that was very critical in this game to get the win, uh, and then to put our defense back out on the field. You know, they've made a couple plays. If there was one drive in there, they had two plays and they scored. That can't happen. That's two, uh, that's uncontested plays. Uh, I think we had some miscommunication. You know, we obviously made mistakes in that particular drive, but we came back, we fixed it, we got on the sideline, and that's where the poise of this is not going to be perfect came into play. Nobody panicked. We just went back to playing assignment football, back to communicating to each other. And then we were able to get the defense out there at the end of the game on the field and how fitting Dante, you know, has a turnover at the end of the game um, to seal it for us. So the drive that we had prior to that, you know, at the end there, uh, a little bit conservative, but the points win the game if they use their timeout. So, you know, the strategy proved to be true in that situation. But uh, overall, you know, Dan Goodell kicked the ball well tonight um, on field goals and on kickoffs, uh, we had the uh, turnover on the kickoff return, and that's something that, you know what, uh, special teams, uh, we need to be special there, and that turnover, you know, was costly, especially where it happened. We really put our defense in a bad situation, um, that particular play. But the one thing about it is our guys aren't trying to do that. They make mistakes. Um, we love them. We're going to get them better. I put that solely on myself to continue to emphasize it and make it a point. Um, over and over and over, and, and we're going to keep doing that as coaches because uh, these guys really want to try and, and do the right things. And when it happens, all we can do is emphasize it and make sure that uh, you know we're doing the right things, proper, we're doing the, the techniques properly, and we're carrying the football. But <clears throat> um, overall, I mean, we had the, the 94 team here. Uh, we had a great fans. Uh, we had a lot to play for tonight, and our guys went out there and played, and they won the game and finished it. So uh, from my standpoint, very proud and a lot to still work on before we play against BYU next week. How awesome is that? Uh, if we didn't and it was perfect, I probably wouldn't have a job. So we'll get that all figured out uh, as we watch the tape, and we're going to go back to work. And we've got a quality opponent coming into our stadium again next week that, quite frankly, uh, um, it has been playing well, uh, will play well, and we've got to be prepared for that. So with that, open for questions. You mentioned the, uh, the drive Jason, there. Jason. <clears throat> you, uh, Microphone. <laughs> Um, we needed it, you know, tired of punting, I'll be honest with me, just tired of punting. And, I, and, and the thing about it was, um, 
That's not the only reason. <laughs> but all right, just so from your coaching book, um, <laughs> we had the momentum. You know what? We had momentum, I felt like. We had energy. Uh, our guys are they're kind of looking over the sideline, like, are we going to do this or not? And, you know, we want to be aggressive, and they were feeling it. So, to me, I don't think those were any difficult decisions, to be quite honest with you. Um, from where I was, where I stood, uh, I thought that our guys were prepared to do it. I thought Coach Sanford was in a good flow of calling plays, and I thought he had good plays in those situations. I asked him, I said, you got two downs. What do you got here? This. I'm like, I like it. It's one of our best guys to get the ball in his hands. Let's go make it happen, and we did. Um, and so... That to me, you know, to, it proves for those guys out there playing, one, we can get it done. Two, hey, if we need to, we're going to do it. And, and we trust you guys to go out there and get it done. So uh, those were critical plays and, and proud of those guys to execute the way they did. It's kind of the same question, but I mean, when you look at that drive, <clears throat> giving your guys a chance to, to go win the game, and they do, when you look at that drive, I guess big picture, 17 plays, takes up half the quarter. I guess moving forward, what, can that drive be a, I don't know, season-changing drive is a big word. Um, How do you look at that drive? Because they had just tied the game, and it was, you know, the game was in doubt there. Yeah, I don't, I, you never, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that, if that defines us by any means, but it sure says that we can get it done. And I think for myself, our coaches, our players, we get in those type of situations, go. I mean, it's really not going to be a surprise. I don't think tonight was a surprise, to be honest with you. I think they were feeling it, and they would have been extremely disappointed had we punted it. Because they're looking over here like, don't do that. Don't send the punt team out there. And, <clears throat> you know, I think in the future, you know, we're going to have to do those type of things to win these games. That's just what it is. So um, that gives us confidence. That, that says that we can go out there and, and uh, execute on fourth down, have a play call, be ready to go, get your fourth down calls, and, uh, and let's go out there and play. And let's go find a way to win this game, uh, which is ultimately the mindset going into it is, we came out here and, and you know, we kind of had the mentality to go out here and hunt and win the game and, and be the aggressors. And that's really in that particular drive, that kind of, you know, was uh, was the whole point we were trying to make throughout the week. Uh, so when, when you said uh, you told me at two downs, you're talking about the one at, right around midfield. Yeah. You'd already told him. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, to, to finish it with, with that play, to run a throwback to the quarterback twice in four weeks or something, uh, that takes some guts, and how do you expect that to work? Twice I don't know. I went back to the water can and got something to drink, and they called it. I don't know. <laughs> it was a, a sneak attack. That, no, I mean, it's just a – it's something, you know, that's the one thing I think we have – you know, we have a group of guys on the staff that just – they think, you know, and their minds are turning. They watch a lot of football. I mean, there's a lot of things out there, and the wheels are always turning. So you get a play design like that, and they came up with a great idea, you know, that we're going to throw back to the quarterback with Spurbeck and – and, uh, and it worked, you know, and it was the right time to do it. Um, and I think, you know, we had a double pass to Spurbeck tonight. You know, we had another one that he actually took off and ran. So uh, Spurbeck was our backup quarterback, essentially, uh, the way he played. And that's just part of what we do. I mean, those are things that uh, I think they're well designed. I think they've been well executed. And we're going to continue to do that. And we'll find more ways to, to be creative in that area. But they've worked for us in critical situations, and we've got to continue to find ways to do that. After you guys took the lead there, they had nine plays for like 13 yards or something to finish off the game. I mean, they just, second week in a row where they kind of had it on themselves to finish the game, and they did. How yeah. nice is that to see? It? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, that's the one thing. I, when our defense is firing on all cylinders, we're, we're pretty good. I mean, not many people are going to move the ball on us consistently. Uh, our D-line steps up. Our linebackers step up. Our secondary can make plays when they communicate. Um, you know, early in the game, we didn't communicate well. Um, I think we maybe it's some of the time off too, just kind of shaking off a little bit of the rust, you know, and getting back into the flow of, of just playing fast. But either way, uh, when it's all said and done, I mean, defense, great defense is finished. And we've been able to finish um, on the field for the most part in the last two games with our defense. They've sealed the deal for us. So uh, proud of those guys for that. I want to be more consistent. I uh, want to take advantage, you know, obviously offensively more consistently and, and not make it that close where we have to have those guys do that. But if it's that, that's the case, uh, they've proven they don't mind it. They'll go out and do it. And I think they like the weight on their shoulders um, when it comes to a uh, game on the line. A couple of things that were problems against Nevada. One, the field goals obviously <clears throat> again makes three from the right side tonight. They get, got to feel good about that. And then um, the, the offense last week, you said you wanted to finish with your ball in the hands and you couldn't do it. Tonight they go down there and get some points. 
got to think the likes of that as well. Yeah, you know, that was that was big for us. Um, you know, first of all, Dan, Dan's an extreme worker. And, you know, if there's a mistake, there's not a better guy out there that's going to go find a way to correct it. And he spent a lot of time doing it. So uh, he's, he's, I don't know if it's corrected, but he was better tonight. And, uh, you know, really happy with that. The offense, yeah, I mean, we wanted to put points on the board. And here comes Jay again, bounces the ball outside and rips off a, I don't know if it's 50 or something yard run uh, to put us down there in position. Love to go score, ice it, you know, and really make a statement there. But credit to their, their defense swelled up. They know what we're doing. We're going to run the ball in those situations there. But uh, we were hang on, hung on to the football. Um, put points on the board, kind of got it in that right middle area right there so we could, you know, make them get their timeouts, put points on there, and then if we get the ball back, you know, we're able to kneel it, which we did. How would you describe Thomas Furbeck? I mean, the kid steps in for the all-time receptions leader. He's called on to throw the ball three times and ultimately throws the game-winning touchdown pass. <laughs> yeah, I never told him all that. So um, the, the thing about Tommy is, is – we asked him to come there and just play to the best of his ability, just like all of our other guys. I mean, uh, Matt's obviously a fantastic player, has done a lot in his career, and has built himself into the type of player he, he is. Uh, we asked the other guys around, not just Tommy, we asked the guys that have been playing to step up, all right, with Matt being out. The guys that have played, they're the ones that have to do a better job. they got to play better. We don't have that production for Matt. Uh, and that being said, hey, Tommy, Here's your role at this time. Go out there and do it to the very best of your ability. Let's see what you got. And you know what? I think we've seen some really good things. You see a guy emerging that stepped up, that's just went out there and executed his assignments, played his role, done the very best he can. Um, and I would fully expect that he continues to do that. So uh, that's that's what I've seen from, from our offense, defense, special teams with Matt Miller being out and then Tommy stepping in. Uh, I don't think anybody's even – you know, said, hey, what are we going to do now? Um, he's made plays, and guys around him have made plays. Uh, Grant had a pretty obviously efficient, and I don't know if you want to call it safe night, but he always took care of the ball. Um, the time where, you get, where Fresno State comes out <coughs> to half, scores, he goes down and leads him back to, on a third, third and long touchdown throw to Shane, which was an impressive catch yeah. throw by both of those guys. Yeah, that was, uh, I just said, wow, on that one. I mean, that was, a, that was about as good of a throw as I've seen. Um, by any quarterback. He stuck it in the window there. Shane kind of made a bend move around the, the backer and the safety. I mean, I don't, how we stuck it in there, those two guys on the same page. Um, we've thrown that, not that tight. I mean, we haven't thrown anything that tight, and he stuck that ball in there. And to me, that's, you know, you say safe, yeah, we taking care of the ball, absolutely. Um, are, are we going to go out there and have ice in our veins in situations like that? Absolutely. And, you know, that's the fine line to play in that position. But thought he was efficient tonight, took care of the ball, and when it was time to go strike, he did. And that was one of them. Uh, and that's how your quarterback should play. And, and when he plays like that, we win games. That's been proven, and he knows that. Nice to have uh, Jeremy and Reese, both guys have been out for a long time. Nice to get them both back out there. Absolutely, for their sake. Yeah, those guys have been wanting to play. That's the one thing about this team. There's not a guy that sits out that just sits out. They want to play. They'll do everything they can to get on the field. We have to be the ones that decide whether it's it's the right time or not. Uh, having Jeremy back there, you got a smart football player with a lot of experience that can lead in that back end. Having Reese out there, you got a physical guy that's played a lot of games, and you know what? When he's healthy, he's pretty dang good. So, uh, though both those additions, you know, for their sake and just team camaraderie and all that, uh, it's important. And obviously, from a production standpoint, they showed up. Did. Uh... Chad's not played tonight. Uh, no, he he played. Okay. Um, I don't know if there was a whole lot. The th the stuff that we were running um, didn't have him in there, and we ran a lot of run plays and some different things. I mean, that's just how it was. It wasn't anything in particular. It was just kind of the flow of the game. Um, and I asked I I asked the same thing, you know, was and uh, it was just play calls at that point. And then uh, so you lost Jack and Fields and uh, and Ben Weaver since last week. What yeah. Um, guys just kind of banged up, you know, just, I think both those guys, um, uh, if extremely needed could go out there and play in this game, are they going to be healthy? No. So that was a chance. I mean, guys get banged up. They should be back. Fully expect those guys to be back next week. Um, both of them, they've been rehabbing. They both look good and we didn't really need them to go out there and put themselves in, in a position where they could get hurt again. Uh, we need him for the BYU game. You mentioned 
mentioned Dante. I think, I mean, he's only finished two games and he's had a pick six and a pick here. And then two other games, his last play, he got hurt making a pick. Yeah. What, what is it about that guy in the fourth quarter with, with the interception? I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess he just pulls himself out when he makes the interceptions. I don't know. Luckily, it was at the end of the game. Um, Dante's a guy that football, when you talk to some people and you and, and uh, you coach some guys, they just get it. You talk about something in the air, he can picture it with you. Uh, he's very smart. He understands it. He's got a gift for understanding football. He, st- he spends a lot of time studying. Yeah, he's a gamer. You know, he's he's practicing, but he's a gamer. He goes out there and he's got a lot of confidence in in what he's doing and the guys around him. So that showed up. I mean, the draw, the ball he drove on tonight. All right, you drive on that ball and you miss it, and he catches it. He's going to spin out of it. That's a big play. Well, that's not Dante. He's calculated, uh, just like we talked about with Grant. I'm going to make the play. He went out there and made it. Got right down. I mean, how smart is that? He's thinking this stuff all the way through, and he's down immediately because he knows we can go out there and take a knee and win the game. That's just smart football. Sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>